Fucking loud ass car. It's your boy the curb. AKA the Antichrist. No, I'm just joking. It's fucking hot as balls today, man. Hot as fucking balls. Every time I wanted to smoke a fucking cigarette, I almost died. I love the fucking heat, but goddamn, it was hot today. Because it's been chilly lately. That's why I've been sick for days. Finally today, not running a fucking fever. Not really sick. So fuck it. Feel pretty fucking good today. Now I'm out looking for my cats. That I take care of. I've only seen one today, but I'm looking for Scream. Because I haven't seen her little ass all day. All right, so recently I went down like a dark, 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 dark rabbit hole. I used to fucking hate punk music for the most part. I thought it was fucking garbage, okay? Now, I've, I've learned about G.G. Allen before. G.G. Allen was fucking crazy, okay? Just let me give you an example of who the fuck G.G. Allen is, okay? G.G. Allen would, was this angry little fucking guy. Angry little guy who had all these fucking followers. He was a punk rock singer. I guess. G.G. Allen was one of a goddamn kind. Um... So he would, basically, he would fucking shit on stage. He would roll around in his own shit. He would throw shit at his audience. He would fucking, like, punch his audience in the face. He would fight his fucking audience. It was just a wild fucking time. Like, a lot of times they barely, like, even got out of there alive. So, you know, he was just a crazy, angry fucking guy. And everybody's like, why is this guy so angry? I mean, I have my theory of why he was fucking angry. Because he had all the money in the world. This motherfucker had like a two-inch penis, dude. His penis was so fucking small. And I think that's why he was fucking angry. Because it would suck to have a small-ass dick. Like, as a male, you're inadequate. Like, you know... You could fuck a girl, but you're not going to please her with a two-inch penis. So I think that's why he was, like, angry. He felt like less of a man. Even though he acted like he didn't give a shit... And he would perform nude, and he would pee on the stage, you know. For the most part, I think he was bothered by that. You know, the fact that, you know, he felt emasculated. But punk rock was just crazy in fucking general. G.G. Allen's the craziest one. And I did some research on G.G. Allen before, and I just recently came back to G.G. Allen to listen to their music and to see how crazy this guy is. And if you've never seen G.G. Allen before, check him out. Do yourself a favor, check his music out. It's uh, G.G. Allen and the Murder Junkies. But you just had a lot of crazy fucking bands back then, man. The Sex Pistols, you know, The Clash. Um, just a lot of fucking crazy ass people. Um, you know, Darby Crash was crazy. He killed himself. Um, there was also this, like, Asian punk band over in fucking Japan and fucking um they were just they would do the same thing they would mutilate themselves on stage they would fucking like wreck the whole place throw shit in the fucking um you know throw shit in the audience rip shit apart the the singer of that band Hanatara he took a fucking bulldozer and he bulldozed the fucking venue that they were playing then they had to stop him from throwing a Molotov cocktail, you know, towards the end of the show. I mean, of course, when you bulldoze the whole fucking place down, you can't, you can't play the show anymore, obviously. But these people were just fucking insane. And Gigi Allen 
always threatened to kill himself and commit suicide on stage, but he never got to do that because uh, they played this place called the um, they played this place called the gas station, which was like a torn down gas station, but they used it for like punk shows, and um, you know. He fucking, they cut him down, like, after, I think, like, two songs. So he starts beating the fuck out of the fans. He starts smashing all the fucking windows. He's all smeared in shit. And he fucking, he goes out on the streets. The police end up showing up. He still gets away. He goes in the cab, goes to his buddy's house, and overdoses on heroin. So ultimately, he did not fucking get to kill himself on stage. Now, he was, like, an, an activist for his own shit, like, what he believed, his own belief system, and he had followers. He had these, like, naive women that would follow him. You know, they were totally obsessed with Gigi Allen. I don't know why. The guy was a complete fucking whack job. But I get him, man. I get him, you know? Even though he's a complete fucking whack job, and he covered himself in shit, and he would fight the audience, and I just got him, man. Like, okay... He has anger issues. I've struggled with anger issues, so I kind of get him. But the point is, man, I always hated punk music because I'm more of a metalhead. Um, and as a kid, you know, I grew up with, like, grunge, which I kind of, you know, attribute to punk. And some, some grunge was, like, punk. You know, you could call it punk. Nirvana was kind of punky at times. Um... It was just crazy. I just didn't get it, you know. I didn't really grow up in that era, in the punk era. So when I would hear it later on, I'd be like, I just don't get it. This shit's fucking noise to me. But the older that I get, um, the more and more I expand my musical palette. So I recently really got into punk. You know, from the 80s. Um, I really just love punk, man. I... I don't know. I've I've really dove in deep and I've done a lot of research and I've listened to a lot of punk. And then I, I fucking fell in love with it. Like, I didn't mean to. <laughs> you know, I'm a fucking metalhead through and through. I mean, I've been to tons of fucking metal shows. You know, so many fucking metal shows I can't even fucking count. But still, you know, I'm still a metalhead. You know? My favorite band, Born of Osiris. They just put out a new fucking single. It's fucking lit as fuck. Okay? I've seen them three times now, and I met Joe, their keyboard player. One of my favorite bands. But, sometimes I get metaled out, man. And, my mood just doesn't match, you know, metal. You know, I don't feel like listening to it for a while. Because, I mean, you can only listen to angry, aggressive music before you start feeling angry and aggressive. And punk does that too, but punk doesn't piss me off as much as metal seems to do. And sometimes I'll take a break and, you know, I'll listen to, I don't listen to rap, but I like, like, Suicide Boys, Ghost Main, Poya, Fat Nick, uh, Shake Well, you know, I like, you know, the Trash Gang, you know, record label, and I listen to a lot of them, and I listen to, like, a lot of old school rap sometimes, like, I'll be, like, into music, you know, that I fucking, like, grew up on and shit, but... It brings back memories sometimes, but for the most part, you know, I listen to metal. But I've been really, like, down in, like, a rabbit hole with punk lately. And I really grew, like, an appreciation for punk music. Like, yeah, if you listen to, like, 80s punk music, it, it gives a different vibe off. And, you know, it, it sounds fucking different. But, fucking, punk is incredible. Like, I don't know. Those people were fucking nuts back then, dude. And they stood up for themselves, man. Like, the whites would, like, fight for the whites. And, you know, they would wear, like, swastikas and shit. Like, nowadays, I feel like the whites get a little bit bullied. I know that's going to be, like, uh, you know, something taboo to say. But I feel like they're trying, like, to erase certain things in history. And, you know, and they act like we're the fucking scumbags. But that's just how times have changed. Back then, they didn't take that shit. You know, they would have went to the ghetto and blew that shit up. Because those fucking punk guys were fucking crazy. And, you know, shit was just different back then, man. Like, nowadays, it's like, you know, we're, we're shunned for our color, it seems like, you know. 
every race makes bad decisions, man. Like, you know, it's it's every race. You know, every race has shitty people. I mean, it's just, it's true. You know, white people have had psychopaths. You know, black people have had psychopaths. Spanish people have had psychopaths. Like, Italians have had psychopaths. Like, it doesn't matter what fucking race you are. Everyone's had fucking psychopaths. Everyone has bad eggs, you know? Not everybody's going to be fucking perfect all the time. You know, and I feel like people have kind of like, you know, lost touch with how things used to be, and now everybody wants to be so fucking separated, but at one time, people were fighting to be together, you know, shit just gets crazy, but, but back to what I was saying, like, punk is just, do yourself a favor, if you've never, like, heard of any of these old school, like, 80s punk bands, or even the 70s, um, you gotta check them out, man, they're just fucking crazy, and definitely check out Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies, because they're by far the fucking craziest, dude. Like, they're by far the fucking craziest, man. Like, I used to fucking think that guy was so goddamn weird, but I kind of understand him now, man. I kind of understand Gigi, dude. And, you know, people from all over the world, like, unfortunately, when he died at his funeral, he fucking was covered in sh his own shit. Like, they didn't even clean him up. They didn't put no makeup on him. He was all fucking bloated. And then his casket, like, his casket, yeah, well, his casket had all kinds of weird shit in it. But his grave site, people go from all over the world to fucking shit and piss on his grave. Because that's the Gigi Allen spirit, I guess. So, I don't know. Punk is just crazy, so do yourself a favor, like, they have some good documentaries, check out some of their music, check out some of these crazy fucking characters, man, like, I, I can't help it, I like punk now, I never thought I would fucking say that in my life, but, I don't know if it's just like a phase I'm going through or whatever, but it, it's really hit me hard lately, so, I don't know, I'm about to head off here, for now, I'm Curb, you guys have a good night, I'll talk to you guys later. Curb, as usual, I'm out.